in the last lesson we saw how to create methods in Ruby um, the last method we did was math op this method we will call in it and it was printing to the screen the result of add 2 plus 2 but this is not very useful since always is going to return 4 as you can see here so in Ruby there are something called there is something called arguments method arguments so this is just a list of variables we can send to the method to work with for let the method know that it can receive receives an argument we just need to add a space here and the name of the variable we want to use this variable is going to only work locally inside this method so let's say i'm going to receive a parameter a and i'm going to replace that here so what happens if we try to run this code again as you can see we get an error the wrong number of arguments zero for one so when we are calling the method we are not sending the, the variable it needs to work so we just need to run space here and send the argument that can be any number let's say it's two again so if we save and call again it works because we are sending the correct value well but this is not very useful because we are all we can only add 2 plus 2 I mean we can add any number but only we can add 2 we cannot add any other number so we can send more than one argument to the method we do this by typing a comma and then the other variable we want we can give it a name the, any name we, we, we need so I'm going to give it a name b the letter b and replace it here so it's now easier if I just want to send more arguments because this is mandatory we need to send the two arguments that we are going to use so I'm just going to to use comma and send the other value here as you can see it works I can send any value here let's say 4 and 4 so we can call this method any time any number of times and we can give them a lot of values here and just, as you can see it was called two times we can also add another line of code here say inputs adding Or make it look much further look here you can see how it's, the values are replaced as it was variables but you can you can ask well I can say I can call this variable outside of the method but you can see that you can't Put, let's print this variable so you could think that you can call this variable outside of this method remember we open the method with def and we close it with the keyword end so what happened if I call the variable outside of the method it will give me an error of course in the find local variable or method a so we can only use the variables we define in the method inside the method In addition to just performing tasks, methods can return values. Those values can be manipulated just like other objects and variables. So let's see how this works. So I can I want to delete this put statement and I'm going to say return. <clears throat> so here we are going to return the result of add A and B. But we are not actually printing anything, so we should not see the, the result printed as we can see here so let's see what happened so if I call the wire the okay I call the file and as you can see it only is printing the puts statement we are not getting any value back if we wanted to print it out so we need to add puts here 
So what's gonna happen in this he, in this time is that we are going to call the method. It's gonna add print this. It's going to return the result. The result is gonna be here, and we are going to send the result of add the two numbers as an argument to the puts method. So if we go back and run the file again, you can see that the result is printed. If we wanted to print the other result too, we just call puts again for the other call to the method. And now, oh, I forgot to save. And now you can see we are getting back the numbers with the result. In Ruby, we do not need to specify always the return keyword for the say that we are going to return the value. In Ruby, always the last line of the method is going to be the return. So if we just delete this, this is gonna work the same way. As you can see, it worked the same way. So return is used in case you just want to avoid only proce other processing here. So I can say Let's say I'm going to say here, put put um, a minus b. So in this case, it's going to return nil because put returns nil, but it's going to print this. Let's see what happened this time. As you can see. It printed out the result, then printed a, a nil because it returned the last line. The same happened here. This is an empty space here. Same here. That is what was printed thanks to this. But if what happened if I add the return statement here, what's gonna happen? This is not gonna be executed because we are forcing the return to work here and now when we say return the return says outside of the method get out of the method that's what it means so if we run it again then we get back the same result and this was not executed so this is a useless line of call at this time but how I told you this is not all always necessary we're gonna see in later lessons what when use the return keyword is necessary but this time we can just leave it like this in our next lesson we're going to learn more about classes and objects in Ruby we're going to take a look at what are instance methods and so on there is a short quiz for you for practice the concepts learned in this lesson as always don't forget to follow me on twitter as Bastian Belandia follow us in, in Twitter as Race Karate, follow us on Facebook too as Race Karate too. Always keep an eye on where you will find the transcript of this video. And thanks so much for subscribing to our channel. If you have doubts or just want to say hello, leave us a comment. See you next lesson.